I'm here to talk to you about the Borderline Music Festival. And I want you to realize that this is not just your regular music festival. This is really about the harvest. It's called Borderline because we are actually attempting to bring back those souls that at one time had a relationship with Jesus Christ and right now think of it as not being a priority in their lives. We want to minister to those that grew up in a Christian environment but really never had a relationship with Jesus Christ and no longer consider it a priority. And those that maybe grew up in a Christian environment and never made a decision for our Lord. That is the harvest that we are expecting. And that's what this festival is really all about. So I, I urge you, I urge you, church, to come on board, to take ownership of this music festival and understand that it is all about the harvest. It has nothing to do with the venue. It has nothing to do with the artists. It's about winning souls. It's about the church coming together and lifting up the name of Christ in the presence of everyone and saying, Lord, we need you. Lifting up his name. If every Christian was to bring one person that did not know the Lord to this festival and allow them to be in the presence of Christ's people and allow them to hear the gospel for five hours, I'm sure the Holy Spirit could do something with that. Take a call, touch my lips, here I am. I'd like to call on Pastor, please. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, I was waiting for another clip, like two minutes, about the artists that are going to perform and, uh, and give the songs during the time. But we're going to have three more Sundays before that happens, so uh, we're going to show that next time. In line with the announcement or the video, uh, I talked to Brother Ed Elorasa, the guy who's uh, talking in the video. They're going to send either him or someone from Borderline Music Festival to be here next Sunday to explain about how ICF can be involved. And, and it, it, it will challenge us to give us a church uh, to be able to purchase tickets. So they're going to explain that next Sunday. I will not be here next Sunday. I will be in a two-week vacation um, in Pensacola with Abby and Rachel. But they will be here to explain that. So I hope, I hope we'll, as a church, we'll, we'll get on board on this because we are going to benefit from this. So if we have the ticket, like a number of tickets, you bring a friend, you buy your own ticket, you give that ticket to a friend as a, as a gift, bring him or her to the concert, and that's our way of sharing the gospel, evangelizing. So this festival is not only singing, there's preaching there. The gospel will be clearly proclaimed during the time. Are you going to show it? Okay. Uh, can you please turn uh, the lights off so we can have two, more, uh, two minutes more videos, then uh, we'll, we'll give, give more announcements. And around the world tonight, we see chaos at every turn. And sometimes that chaos, well, it's a long way off, and we don't have to worry about it, but sometimes it gets really close. And sometimes the chaos begins to look a little bit like that, that last book of the Bible that we don't really know what to do with that one sometimes either. On the count of three, if you're in, I want you to raise your phone. I want you to scream so loud that the people at the top of the Space Needle can hear this place shaking. Are you ready? Here we go, Seattle. One, two, three, put them up. So Slowing this down. If you see me coming through, then just 
know it's about to get loud Okay, I've been up for like four days Paranoia, man, I can't think straight My mind's gone in another place But it's not how you start until you finish the race Say woo, woo, woo Excited? <laughs> uh, aside from those bands, the Naya College Choir will also sing in both nights. So Friday night, Friday night, and Saturday night, uh, the Naya uh, College Choir will also be singing. It's included in the in the program that they made. Uh, so thank you so much for uh, watching that, and I hope the Lord will touch your heart and be prepared for that. Um, come September. September 22 and 23, we will have uh, Encounter Weekend. So for those of you who are in the E12, you know what I'm talking about. It's a uh, one and a half day, a Friday night from 7.30 to 9.30, and Saturday from 9.30 to around 2.30. I believe there's a garage sale, another garage sale on that day, the 23rd, which is Saturday. But it will be okay. It's not going to affect the, the encounter because they will be downstairs. We will be there, and the garage sale will be um, outside. Uh, choir practice today for preparation for our church anniversary, 115. So those of you who are in the choir, please be here at 115. Uh, Olette will lead and, and teach uh, the piece for... We have, we're preparing two songs for our church anniversary on the 24th of September. Our speaker will be Pastor David Sir Joseph from Piscataway, New Jersey, who will be speaking that day. Thank you so much. I'd like to call on the praise team to come, and we're going to close in prayer, and then they're going to sing uh, after the benediction so that we can continue to worship the Lord as we fellowship together. Let's all stand as we give thanks to the Lord. <clears throat> Our Father in heaven, we are so thankful for your word today. We pray that once again, you have spoken to our hearts the importance, Lord God, of keeping your word in our hearts and, and doing something about it. It's, uh, it's our duty, our responsibility, and you have commanded us, Lord, not only to be hearers and, and appreciating your word, but we are also going to be doers of your word. Holy Spirit, thank you for convicting us today. Thank you for reminding us of the importance of living a pure life as individuals, as families, and as a church. May you continue to empower us. May you continue to give us the strength and the courage to live in this world that is so full of pressure upon our lives because of all the things that we see around us, of all the crimes, all the violence, and, and all the confusion. Lord, we have peace in our hearts because we have you as our Lord and Savior. So may the world see that in our hearts, Lord, as we go out from this place today and come back again next Sunday for another worship of your most holy name. We, are, we love you, Lord, and we give you thanks and praise and adoration. All glory belongs to you, Lord Jesus. We ask all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and all of God's people say, Amen and Amen. God bless you. Sing your love never fails again as we close today. I'm personally excited about that festival. I'm a fan of Tadashi. He's a good um, Christian rapper. He raps to Lecrae. So I'm actually really excited about that. Let's all bring a friend. 
to that really awesome um, festival again. Okay? Bring a person to Christ. Your love never fails 